Hello everyone. To master coding, you need to practice. And for that purpose, we have the labs. The link to the labs is given in the description of the video itself. So now let's go over some basics as to how you will attempt these labs. So when you click on the link, you'll see something like this. So here are a number of questions that you need to solve. Let's head on to the first question and see how you'll attempt these. So in the top section, we have the question itself. After this, we have input format, which will tell us what kind of input to expect. Then we have the constraints. Constraints basically tell us the range of the various variables. Then we have the output format, which tells us what kind of output this particular code expects. After this, we have the sample inputs and outputs where you can see for what input, what output is expected. In case you don't understand the question completely, they will greatly help you in understanding the question. Below it, we have the editor where we have to put in the code to solve the question. So now after you have typed in the code, click on run code. So what happens when you click on run code? It runs the code against sample test cases. Sample test cases are also called as visible test cases. Here you will be able to see your output and also the expected output. If these are different, you can adjust your code accordingly. After you are confident that your code is correct, you can go to submit code. So after you have submit your code, the, your code will run against hidden test cases. You cannot see the expected output of these test cases. You will only find out how many hidden test cases you have passed and how many you have failed. You have to think yourself why some particular hidden test cases have failed. So after you have submitted your code and the status changes to accepted, the question is complete. You can move on to the next question. So you will see a small tick next to the question after it is complete. So in future, if you feel like seeing your submissions or you feel like revising, you can go to that question again with the same link that is given in the description and you can check out submissions and click on view results. If you scroll down a little bit, you will see the code that you submitted and also how many test cases you were able to successfully pass. So this is how you will be attempting all the questions one by one. All the best. Let us start lab one. Once you open the link given in the description box, you'll reach this landing page, enter the contest and you'll see a list of challenges. So let us see the first challenge variable values. The question statement is complete the main method by displaying the values of variables a and b. So in the input format, input is already handled in the code stub. We just have to focus on the print statements. So let us see sample cases. In the first case, you have input 10 and 20. So in this case, the output should be value of A is 10 and the value of B is 20. Similarly, if you have the input as 5 and 40, the output should be value of A is 5 and value of B is 40. So let's try solving this. Now in the code stub, we already have made an object of scanner that's used for taking the input. Now two inputs A and B are taken, both are integers, so they are taken using the function sc.nextInt. Now I have to print the values of A and B. Now I have to write a print statement. For that, we'll use system.out.print. So I'll use system.out.print. Now first I have to print a string value of A's. So this part is string, I'll print it in double quotes. Value of A is space. Next we have to print value of variable A. So A is a variable, we don't have to use double quotes there. We'll print it outside the double quotes. For concatenating string with the variable, we'll use plus sign. After value of A, I again have to print a string. So I have to use double quotes, I'll use double quotes. For concatenating variable with string, I'll use plus sign. In the double quotes, I have to write the next string that is space and value of B is. After this, I again have to print value of variable B. For that, I'll use B outside the double quotes and I'll concatenate it with plus sign.
After this, we'll use semicolon. Just run this code. So all the sample test cases are passing. Let's try to submit it now. All our test cases have passed. Let's see the next question. So the next question is lucky draw result. So in this question, we have to announce the result of a lucky draw. Given the name of the winner, display the result on the screen. So input is already handled. So let's see the sample test cases. In first sample input, we have a name. In the output, we have to display that name. And then you have one exclamation mark. So let's try to code it. So here also input is already taken care of. We have made an object of scanner class to take the input. And then this object is used to take string input name. Now the name which is given in the input is already stored in the variable name. So we have to display this on screen. We'll use the command system dot out dot print. Now what do I have to print? First I have to print the name. So name is a variable. I have to print it without double quotes. I'll print name. After this I have to print a string. You have one exclamation mark. So I'll concatenate the string with a plus sign and then I'll use double quotes. In the string I have to print space. You have one exclamation mark. Let's end this line with semicolon and try to run this code. All the sample test cases have passed. So let us try to submit it. All test cases have been passed. Let's move on to the next question. The next question is inputs. So in this challenge, you have to take the following information from the user. Name, age, salary, gender, married and display it on the screen. So let us see the format of input. In input, we have five lines. First line contains a string which is representing name. Second line contains an integer which represents age. Third line contains a number in double representing the salary. Fourth line contains a character which represents gender. Fifth line contains a boolean value representing marital status. So in the output also we have to give five lines. In the first line we have to print name followed by the string which is read from the input. In second line I have to print age colon followed by the integer value which I have read from the input. In the third line, I have to print salary colon followed by the double value which is read from the input. In the fourth line, I have to print gender colon followed by the character read from the input. And in the fifth line, I have to print married colon followed by the boolean value which is read from the input. So let us see the sample input. In sample input, we have been given five input values and we have to display. It. So let us try to code this. So here input is not already taken. We have to take the input. First, we'll make object of scanner class. So I'll make scanner. Let's name the object as SC. New scanner. We'll pass the argument system.in. Now for using scanner class, I have to import this. So in the first line, I'll write import dot util dot star with star i have imported all the classes which are present in the util package so now we'll use the object sc to take the input first we'll take name input so for that we'll use a string data type let's store the name value in a variable name for taking string input we'll use the function next line in the sample input we can see that in the name we have spaces so if i use next it will terminate only at the first name so I'll use sc dot next line. Next I have to take age input that is an integer. I'll use int age is equals to sc dot next int. In the next line I have a double input which represents salary. So let us make a double variable double salary. So I'll take this input using the function next double. So sc dot next double. Next I have a character input and I'll store that in a character variable. Let's say gender. How do we take character input? We can't take directly next char. So we take a string and then extract the zeroth character from it. For that we'll use sc dot next 
this takes a string input now i'll extract zeroth character so i'll use the function char at zero in the next line i have a boolean value as input which represents marital status so i'll take a boolean variable married and for the boolean value we'll use the function next boolean now all inputs have been taken so we can close the scanner object we'll use sc dot close now i have to display all these things in the output for that we'll use system dot out dot print so system dot out dot print after each line here we have to move to the next line so we'll use print ln which will automatically put a new line character at the end of the string so in the first line i have to print name colon space this much part is a string after this string i have to concatenate the variable name so i'll use plus name here semicolon in the next line i have to display age so i'll use system dot out dot print ln in quotes i'll write age colon because this part is string then i'll concatenate it with the variable age system dot out dot print ln next value is salary so salary colon i'll concatenate it with the variable salary next we have a character that displays gender so system dot out dot print ln gender colon and the variable gender last we have to display marital status so we'll use system dot out dot print ln married colon and i'll concatenate it with the variable married so let's try to run this code the sample test cases have been passed let's try to submit it all test cases are running successfully moving on to the next question the next question is magic board the question says is rithik wants a magic board which displays a character for a corresponding number for his science project help him to develop such an application so in this case the input is a single integer and in the output we have to display a single line which represent the integer followed by hyphen and the corresponding character every character is represented using a number this number is called as sky code when i type cast this number to a character i get the corresponding character of that as sky code so here we'll use the type casting we'll type cast this integer given in the input to a character so let's try to code it first we have to take an integer input so for taking input we have to make object of scanner class for using scanner class i first have to import it i'll use import java dot util dot star now i will make object of scanner class so i'll use scanner sc is equals to new scanner system dot in now i'll use this sc to extract now i'll use the object sc to take inputs here i have to take an integer input so let's first declare an integer so let's say int num here i'll use the integer which i take from the input so for taking integer input i'll use the function next int i'll be using sc dot next int and store this integer in the variable num now we have taken the input so we can close the object of the scanner class that is sc we'll use sc dot close now i have an integer variable which is stored in num i have to type cast it to a character how will we type cast we'll write the data type in the brackets the data type is char and the name of the variable is num so this converts num to a character now we can store it in a character variable so we'll use a character variable char ch is equals to this so now we will put a semicolon now the corresponding character is stored in the variable ch now we have to display the output on the screen we'll use system dot out dot print 
in the output first output is the number which is stored in num variable so i'll print num next there is a string that is space hyphen space for writing a string i'll use double quotes for concatenating it i'll use a plus sign then i have to put space hyphen space after this i have to write the variable character so the character variable is stored in ch i'll write ch here for concatenating this i'll use plus sign i'll end this line with a semicolon let's try to run this code all the sample test cases have passed so let us submit it all test cases have passed successfully moving on to the next question the last question of this lab is power of a number in this question we have given a number and its power we have to calculate the answer we are allowed to use the math library so we have to give the result up to four decimal places let us see the input format we are given two numbers in double first number denotes the base and the second number denotes its power for example we have been given 2 5 2 raised to power 5 is 32 but we have to display it up to four decimal places so we'll display the output as 32.0000 let us try to code this question here also we have to take the input so we'll make object of scanner class we first have to import the util package we'll use import java dot util dot star now we'll make object of scanner class so scanner sc is equals to new scanner system dot in now we have to take two inputs both are in double let us store it in two variables a and b so double a is the first input we'll take it using sc dot next double let's store the next input in a variable b so double b is equals to sc dot next double we have taken the input now we can close the object of scan class we we'll use sc dot close now i want to calculate a raised to power b since we are allowed to use math library we can directly use the function math dot so we'll use math dot p o w a comma b i'll store it in another double variable double c is equals to this now i have to display c up to four decimal places for formatting the output we can use two functions either system dot out dot printf or system dot out dot format both are equivalent we can use either of them i use system dot out dot format the format is given in double quotes so the format is up to four decimal places so i use percentage 0.4f comma the variable name is c here i'll put the semicolon now let's run the code the sample test cases are passing let's try to submit it all the test cases have passed so we have completed the first lab the first lab is complete Thank you.